So can you find the volume of this thing? And uh, what are we looking at here? Well, uh, hopefully you said a cylinder, and that would be correct. So I'm thinking that most uh, of you out there watching this video can find the volume of this, but you're probably saying to yourself, I can do this problem, but I need that formula, okay? I need the formula uh, to the volume of a cylinder. And now, if you don't remember the formula, don't panic, okay? I'm gonna give it to you here in a second and give you an opportunity to solve this problem all on your own. But uh, I would suggest that um, uh, finding the area and volume and surface area of basic figures is, are some things that you might wanna consider um, getting into your long-term memory, all right? There's a lot of things in math that, you know, you just certainly can't remember all this stuff all, all the time. But basic um, area and volume and surface area type of formulas, yeah, these are things that you might want to consider, you know, getting into your long-term memory. And I'll talk to you about uh, how you can do that here in just one second. Now, if you think you could do this problem all on your own, uh, just kind of give, you know, turn this into like a little pop quiz for you. Uh, certainly, I would encourage you to pause the video and go ahead and do so because I'm going to get into the solution here in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's get to this uh, problem. We got a lovely cylinder here. And um, so let me give, I'm gonna tell you what the volume here is, okay? But I'm gonna give you kind of a, um, a the, the formula for the volume. I'm gonna give you a little bit of, I'm gonna do this kind of like as a hint, okay? So the volume is gonna be the area of this, okay? It's the area of this circle, all right? So we'll call that like the base uh, times the height, okay? So if you can do this, if you can find the volume of a circle, so I'm asking right now, can you find the volume, um, not the volume, sorry, the area, okay? If you can find the area of the circle multiplied by the height, you will get the volume, okay? So if you think you can do that, go ahead and do that now. But let's get into the uh, formula for the volume of a cylinder uh, specifically. So again, as I said, the volume is equal to the base, which would be the area of that base times the height of uh, the cylinder. So the B here is the area of the circle. Area of a circle is what? Well, it is this right here. It's pi r squared. Okay, so really this B is pi r squared. And what's uh, r? That's the radius, right? That goes out from the center, out like so. I'm going to use a different color, right? From the center out to the edge of the circle is the radius. Let me multiply that by the height. And you got to be very uh, mindful. We are dealing with volume. Okay, so real quick because students uh you know they ignore these uh, very important little details all right so let me just tell you real quick so in area your answers are going to be in units squared so if we're dealing with feet and in this particular problem we're dealing with feet here i think it's uh, eight and two so um area would be feet squared but volume is units cubed so it's going to be feet uh, cubed or centimeters cubed or millimeters cubed, whatever you're dealing with, okay? Don't forget to use the proper units of measure because uh, most uh, teachers, as, you know, math and science teachers will dock you points if you don't put in the proper units of measure, okay? So uh, pay attention uh, to those guys at the end of your problem. All right, so let's get to the solution here. And uh, again, when you know the formula, you know, this is not that difficult. All right, so here it is volume of a cylinder pi r squared times h so pi is what obviously it's the lovely number approximately 3.14 but we don't have to turn that into a decimal right now we just leave it as that symbol pi so our radius is 2 okay that's what r is equal to so i'm going to just plug that in right so and then my height is h so 2 squared is 4 all right, I've got them doing this right here. Two squared is four. Remember, PEMDAS, order of operations, all that good stuff. So I got to do the powers first. So I got uh, four times eight, which of course is 32 times this pi. So my volume is equal to 32 pi, okay? But remember, units of measure, because this little symbol right here, if you didn't know that little like this right here, this means feet, okay? 
this, mean, uh, this means inches, and this means feet. Should, you should be familiar with that, okay? All right, so our answer, we can think of it in two ways. Our exact, exact, precise answer is 32 pi feet cubed. So if I asked you for an exact answer, you would want to give me this. You would want to just keep that pi symbol in your answer. This is not a trivial little detail as well, okay? Because this is exactly, precisely, 100% correct. Now, if I wanted a, a good decimal estimation, then I have to go into my calculator and get a decimal for pi and take 32 and multiply it by 3.14, yada, 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 and I would get well, about 100.48 uh, feet cubed, okay? But again, this little squiggly mark right there means approximately in math. It's not equal to. So all these little details and stuff, you know, they're they're important, okay? Everything's important. So this is the exact answer, and this is a nice uh, decimal uh, approximation. Again, notice that we have the proper units of measure. But uh, yeah, this is basic geometry, you know, basic volume, you know, uh, which would come uh, into the category of learning uh, area problems, volume problems, surface area problems, it's stuff that you absolutely need to know. Uh, a couple suggestions, I um, have more of these type of videos in my pre-algebra, algebra and uh, my geometry playlist, in case you practice. But, uh, you know, depending on where you're at in terms of uh, geometry, Okay, I teach basic geometry in my pre-algebra course, and then obviously I teach it thoroughly in my geometry course, and it comes up again in other courses as well, but those uh, two courses you might be interested in, of course, that will be in my math help program. All right, if you like this video it's to some degree, please consider smashing that like button, and please consider subscribing. been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over 1,000 videos, and I'm posting new content all the time. Okay, so whether it's volume or you know, Algebra 2, Logarithm stuff, whatever the case is, you'll find a ton of videos on my channel, Basic to Advanced Math, all there for you. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.